Hi, Orman Beckles here, AKA the High Tech Nomad. So today I wanted to talk to you about what I think is one of the best kept secrets about the Samsung phones. And that's its ability to be used as a desktop computer. Let's look at the kind of computer setup most of us have used for years at home or in the office. It consists of a keyboard, a mouse, a monitor, and of course, the computer itself. Now follow along with me because all I'm proposing is, is that we replace this with this. Now I know it seems a little hard to believe that we can use this instead of that big boxy behemoth, but if you think about it, you'll realize that, well, things just get smaller. One of the first computers I used was called the Commodore 64. Compared to the Commodore 64, my Note 9 is 2,800 times faster. And it has 84,000 times the storage space. That means I would have to take 84,000 Commodore 64s and put them together to get the same storage space as I have in my new Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, even as amazing as this team, this is no technological marvel. There is no computer in here. It's actually gonna just use the phone. This is just gonna hold the phone for us while we use it as a computer and just make it a little easier for us to plug in our keyboard, our mouse, our internet connection, our monitor, and the power. So there's no brains in here. It's all coming from the phone. So this is the current setup that I have for my office here and for my office in Estonia. And so all I do is take my phone and plug it into the Samsung DeX and we're ready to go. Now I've plugged my phone into the Samsung DeX and unfortunately this is what most people expect to see when they plug their phone into Samsung DeX. They think all it's going to do is take a mirror image and throw it up on the screen. And while it's doing that now, we're still not into Samsung DeX. This is not Samsung DeX. So let's scroll down. Let's look for where it says Samsung DeX is available. And now we'll click on that. And now it's going to go into Samsung DeX. This is Samsung DeX. This should look very familiar to you. This is just like the desktop computer that you're using now. You have your start button here. You have your time, your clock, and your icons. Now, one of the interesting things to note here is that the way I have the screen set up, that's exactly the way it's gonna set up the next time I plug my phone into a Samsung DeX dock. So that means if I'm working on a document, if I'm doing something and I have to stop, all I do is take my phone out of the dock, use my phone as I would regularly, but when I put it back in a dock, it will show up just like this with whatever programs and files I had open, they'll still be open and ready for me to use. Now, just like in Windows, I can set this up any way I want. In fact, I found a neat thing today, which is I can sort my icons in alphabetical order. And as you can see, it brings them all off to the side and keeps them in alphabetical order. But I also can sort by a custom view and I was surprised to find it actually keeps that custom view. That's something even my Windows computer can't do. I can have one or the other, but not both. So when we're in Samsung DeX mode, you can use all of the programs that you would normally use. So things like email or Google Docs or Excel. You can just use those the same as you normally would. So let's take a look at a couple of programs. Here's Google Chrome. And as you can see, it looks just as it does on your regular desktop computer. So you can do all of the things that you would normally do on your desktop computer. Let's go ahead and surf the web. As you can see, that comes right up. And if you haven't used Samsung DeX on a Note 9, then you haven't used Samsung DeX. And I say that because on the Note 9, it is so much faster. It was okay on the S8, it was a little laggy, it was a little irritating, not enough to make it a no deal for me, but it was enough that I knew the difference. But on a Note 9, this is actually faster than my old desktop computer. To give you a good example of just how fast and responsive this is, I'm gonna go into one of the hardest things it is to do, even on your desktop computer, and that's video editing. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into we video, which is what I use to make these videos. Now, you'll notice that it says, hey, thanks for visiting the Wii Video website, uh, but why don't you come back when you're on a computer? That's because it thinks we're on our phone, because, uh, well, we are. So it's trying to get me to use the app. Very simple workaround. All you do is go up to your menu bar, you click on it, and down near the bottom here, you'll see where it says desktop site. 
that means it's going to tell the website you're coming from a desktop computer. And you may have to do this with a couple of different sites, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on that now. And now you'll see it brings me to the normal Wii Video site. It now thinks we're using a desktop computer. And it will remember that from now on. And I've been able to do video editing on a big screen with it coming from my Samsung DeX. As you can see, there's no lag at all. I mean, that just blows my mind away that I'm using my phone as my desktop computer and it's working faster than the desktop computer that I had before. Another program that I really like to use on my Note 9 is KineMaster, which is another video editing program. And again, these are very intense programs. And now I can sit on the train on the way home, work on a video, but then when I get back to my studio, I can maximize it, throw it in the Samsung Dex dock, and go right ahead and continue editing. And again, the responsiveness is fantastic. Now, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So you can play games in this nice, big, full screen mode. So for example, um, let's take a look at Defense Zone 3. Now again, I have some nice speakers hooked up to my Samsung Dex dock. And if you want, you can get something like this, which is a Bluetooth controller. It's really, really good. We have a review of that uh, up top there. Now, for those of you who say, look, I absolutely have programs that I have to use on Microsoft Windows. How do I do that? There'll be a link up top here to my video where I cover this in great detail. However, there is a way around it. And that is that you're going to actually just leave your old computer up and running somewhere. In my case, it's running in Estonia, which is about 2,000 miles from here. It's sitting underneath of a desk connected to the internet 24 seven. And all I do is use the RD client to go from here to that computer and boom. So it's not running it on my Samsung DeX. I'm actually just talking to a computer remotely like you might do a log me in. And in fact, you can use things like log me in uh, if you want to use that as well. But I use the RD client. And now as you can see, it appears that I'm have, I have a full Microsoft Windows computer. So if I have to use something like Photoshop, I can just go over here, click on it, and I can go ahead and use it. The other thing that Samsung DeX in Note 9 has done is they've included the ability to force programs into full screen. Now, one of the programs that I love, still love, is DeX Max. And there's a link for that up top here, and that talks about all these great things that you can do. But on the Note 9, I have not had a need to load Dex Max to maximize a window. By just using Dex on the Note 9, I'm actually able to make everything nice and big without there being any problems. So for example, the one that I most get requested on is Netflix. So yes, I can go into Netflix, I click on the maximize button, it says I want to restart. I click the button and bada boom, bada bing, bitty boop. It is now on full screen, plays just fine. The only issue I have is that you must stay, and that's the same on the phone as well, to be honest with you. I have to stay in Netflix. So it's not like I can start Netflix and then go off and do something else and then you know, have to do that while I'm doing something else. If I've decided I'm gonna watch Netflix, I gotta watch Netflix. When I'm done, I stop and I can go back to using the computer. And as I said, this is just so much easier than uh, lugging my computer back and forth. So to sum up, if you have an S8, an S8 Plus, an S9, an S9 Plus, or the new Note 9, and you need to get rid of that clunky computer in your home or office, or you're thinking about getting a second computer, or you're a student that travels between places, consider the Samsung DeX. Try it out and see if it works for you. Now, we've got a lot more videos coming up. I've got uh, another one on the uh, S3 
specifically used with the Note 9. We have the one on the HAL 9000, which is a 2001 replica that's going to be powered by the Amazon Echo. We have the Tracy picture thing. We got a bunch of stuff going on. And <clears throat> you probably notice this is not the same shirt that I started off in. Of course, uh, I record these over a couple of different days. I don't have a continuity manager, so I, I don't necessarily put on the same shirt. But my point is that it takes a lot to make these videos. And just hitting the like button, button or the subscribe button really makes me feel good and really helps me to, uh, encourages me to do more of these. So until the next time, this is Orman Beckles, aka the High Tech Nomad, signing out.